welcome to episode five of The Bandwagon. I'm your host, Eric Nelson. Uh, I want to thank Larry Dunn for making episode four possible. Uh, the guy is a tremendous talent and has a big heart, and he's an inspiration to all. Um, but uh, today for episode five, I'm really excited to announce that uh, my new teammate, Owen Justice, is here um, working the helm back there. Um, I've worked with Owen um, as, as a guest on Bandwagon in the past, and we've worked together in the recording studio together, but uh, he joined the production team with Skinny Web, so uh, I'm anxious to see what he's going to bring, and I know he's going to do a great job and help make Bandwagon a bigger success. Okay, and before I introduce this handsome young man, in this new setting, by the way, I need to mention yeah, the new setting, nice. uh, we, moved, we moved Bandwagon to uh, Owen Justice's Rock and Roll Dojo. So that's where we're at tonight, and that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, it's, it, I want to thank everybody for being patient. Uh, it's been like three weeks since we released an episode. Um, I know over that time, I've been uh, gigging a little bit here and there, but most importantly, I've been out uh, checking out some live music. And uh, that's been very therapeutic. It's sometimes better to be a spectator and just drink it in that way. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing tomorrow night, checking out this guy. And I'll go ahead and introduce him right now. Um, this is the face of Southwest Iowa music and a good friend of mine. It's Pickin' Rick Hilliard. So welcome, Rick, and thanks for being here. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I've known you for quite a few years. I don't, I don't know exactly how many, but a long time. Who's counting? Yeah, exactly. They, they all bleed together, and they've all been good and fun yeah. and positive, so, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, you've been constantly gigging all over the place, running sound all over the place, and most recent years, you've been very actively involved with uh, the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association, and uh, I'll kind of set the table a little, a little bit with that. Um, because you're working on a really super cool project right yeah. now uh, called Rock for Vets. And here a few weeks ago, a buddy of mine, Dan Krauss, got a hold of me and suggested that we do an episode of Bandwagon to promote that. And I was like, well, man, that's a great idea because I plan on having you on anyway. And at some point, and this just sped up the timeline. So you want to tell us about Rock for Vets and your involvement with our Rock and Roll Music sure, Association? Sure, I was lucky enough to be inducted in 2018. I got on the board the same year awesome and uh somehow they've handed over the uh stage manager job to me <laughs> eight, like eight bands yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's herding cats so. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i love them all i've met all these great musicians over the years right now my big focus is rock for vets and we've done this one time before and this is the second time because the pandemic set it set us back but uh we have eight people in southwest iowa that have been inducted into the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association Hall of Fame. And I called them up and we're put together a band that's going to be pretty special. And uh, we're going to play at uh, Red Oak Wilson Performing Arts Center. Yeah, it's a on, beautiful facility. Yes, it's, it's like a, a small uh, Orpheum. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're going to play there Friday, November 11th on yeah. Veterans Day. Awesome. And then the next night we're going to Sioux City to do a show up there for... Very for, cool. And uh, we partnered with four veteran organizations in Southwest Iowa, and we're, I've been able to raise close to $10,000. Man, that's and, uh, awesome. That yeah, is so good. Yeah. I got to say, uh, raising money uh, uh, is not for sissies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I cold call a lot of people, but people have been really good to us. Awesome. We're selling sponsorships, uh, people that we're going to have live auctions. Uh, cool. Uh, another great music venue in Malvern, Iowa, the Art Church. Is, yeah. Oh, he yeah. gave us two nights at one of his Airbnbs. Oh, cool. And uh, we matched that up with Well, Denver thank you, Classic. Zach. Zach Jones. Zach Jones, exactly. <laughs> uh, matched that up with uh, some food from the Classic Cafe. Some, cool. And so hopefully those will bring some decent money to raise awesome. money for this. Uh, well, you got a couple autographed guitars. They're I got pretty, a guitar, pretty, yeah. Vince cool. Gill and Jason Mraz. Yeah, man, that's... Uh, $20 a ticket, you know. Yep. Yeah, hit Eric up. Hit any of us up. We'll get you some tickets. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, and like I said, the cause is going to help veterans in Southwest Iowa. And uh, being a veteran myself, that's near and dear to my heart. Oh, so. yeah, man. And and what's great is uh, it not only supports a great cause, but anyone who goes to check it out is going to get a, uh, a good sonic oh, yeah. reward for it. No, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be. A really yeah, because it's a real all-star band. And, and we're reaching back into... Uh, into some of the Vietnam era stuff and playing some Eva Destruction. And oh, some, cool. You know, some Pink Floyd yeah. and some, you know, we're going all over the place. Oh, it. cool. Cool. So, okay. yeah, I'm excited about that. It's a, 
It's cool. The last time we did it, I got to mention Steve Miller signed a guitar and sent it to us. And, oh, wow. And uh, we, we got some good bucks out of that, too. So, awesome. Uh, well, I'm sure you're going to get some good bucks out of these two. Yeah, well, I'm hoping teams. that we, you know, I know we're going to help out those organizations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there's, in the United States, I think there's 22 veterans commit suicide a day, and we need to put a stop to that. We need to make sure that they're loved and know that they're yeah. loved. And, and getting the help and, they need. And get, getting the help that they need. So this is just our little part in that whole situation. Well, that's fantastic. I know they appreciate it. Yeah. And, I'm not a veteran, but I certainly appreciate it because I, I realize what the veterans are right. doing for all of us. Well, they do what they did, do so we can do what, do what we, we want, want to do. do. Exactly. 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 We can go out here and play in clubs yep. And, yep. and feel like we can pack up at the end of the night and go home with our families and go out and do it again. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So, what, Is there anything else you would like to talk about with the Rock for Vets or with Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association in general? Or you want to talk about... Union County Trio a little bit. Well, I know about I know a little bit about those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I and mean, speaking of which, two of the guys that are in the All Star Band for the Rock for Vets are in Union County Trio three of us now. All three of us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Troy Johnson, yeah. our bass player, got. Well, him. I meant two two of those guys with you. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, three yeah. three well, total. Two, yes. All, all three of us. Yeah. And, and Dan Sullivan and Troy Johnson. Yeah, and uh, Jedi masters of their craft. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. I'm just lucky. I'm going along for the ride. Yep, they're, yep. They're, yeah. <laughs> I'm move over, I'm getting in. <laughs> yeah, and so, you're going to be playing tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at the 518 yep. in Red Oak. And, uh, and you guys had a crazy busy spring and oh, summer. I mean, you guys were playing like five, six nights a week We sometimes. did two, two, one five nights in a row and one six nights in a row. Wow. And I Ooh. believe you d drug Dan in, so he was doing six out of seven. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it was a busy summer. Uh, here's our concept for next year. We want to play less for more money. <laughs> Hey, that's a fantastic <laughs> idea. Who does Yeah, it? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think some other musicians have thought of that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt if we get it, but we're going to try. Yep, yep. And put yourself in demand. That was kind of one of our mistakes. We were too easily accessible. Probably. Yeah, yeah. But it was a fun summer. We played a lot of music, had, oh, yeah. met a lot of people, and had a great time. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And you guys always sound so great. You really, really do. Yeah. Those so you got to check them out. These guys make it easy to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, well, let's anything about with your because I know you've ran a lot of sound sound over the years for a lot of venues too. You want to talk about that a little yeah, bit? Well, we st I, I kind of started that whole thing with uh, what we was wine stock at yeah. Sugar Clay oh, Winery. Yeah. Been to and, many uh, of those, and uh, like a guy that's going to be at the Jewel next week, Hamilton Loomis. I've done mm -hmm. worked sound for Hamilton several times, and uh, he's out a blues guy out of Texas. Yeah, and we had fantastic. Shamika Copeland. I had. Uh, People from Oregon, so anybody who was passing through, we got to work these shows yeah, with them. Yeah. It was it was a very humbling experience. <laughs> very cool. But uh, now I've got I can put everything I need in the back of my pickup, and uh, yeah, uh, we have the Malvern Music Series also. Yeah, which, uh, which is a great time. Always yeah, great time. Yeah. That thing's really grown and blown up. Yeah, we. Uh, we have had Chris Logger there the last couple of years. He, yeah, he's he knows how to get people dude. up front. <laughs> yeah. He's got yeah. this like aura around him. And, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I like So working. positive, so talented. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Such so. a good guy too. He uh he uh, uh played at a benefit that I well, Rick Galusha was instrumental in helping me organize it mm -hmm. um, from Pacific Street Blues and I asked him, hey, can you have any suggestions? And Chris Logger was one of the guys That's he awesome. reached out to, and, and he said, of course. And I was, I was so grateful, and so was the family. So. And then this guy. Yeah. Hector. Yep, yeah. Hector's it was such a sweetheart. And, yep. And uh, our bass player is going to do some shows with him this year. Cool, cool. Uh, so uh, Awesome. Yeah. It's and a, I'm doing stuff with Dan. I work right. with Dan Sullivan. We do a little side project yeah. as well in the studio working on an album. And so I, I go on vacation. And that's why I love getting together and doing this because we're all connected, you yeah, know, exactly. so in some way, shape, or form. We're all connected and share a common thread, and and uh, so this, this is just so much fun to yep. me. I ended up in Southwest Iowa, kind of. We just stopped in and bought a house and went home and said, "I guess this is where we're moving to." So yeah, yeah. that's it, and it's worked great. And there's some great bass fishing where I'm at. I'll I'll get our host down there. Yeah, yeah, there you go, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Well, cool. If there's anything else you want to talk about, we can. If not, we'll just play I a song. Think, I think, yeah, I think let's play a song. All right. Well, what are you going to play? Uh, it's called Faux Show. It's about my friend's place in Emerson, Iowa. We've done 10 years of music party out there, and uh, I wrote this about their place. 
it is a fantastic place. I've played there and I've attended there and either way as a participant or a spectator, it's fantastic. Yeah. So it's a great song too. I really, really love this song. It, it really is. It's, it's what, it, what it is. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Won't be long till sun gets here. A couple fried chickens and a case of cold beer. Hop in the truck, head down to the pond. Hook up a bobber, toss in a line. We got Neil Diamond singing Sweet Caroline on that old truck. Radio. Gather up some sticks to build us a fire. Roll a little joint and get a little high for show. Night time's coming, people start to gather. Sun's going down. Tell me, would you rather be with me for all alone? We could hop in the sack, we could roll in the hay, make a little love and call it a day, or we could turn up the music and light that fire. Roll another joint, get a little high for show. When it's getting kind of late, so let's take a chance. Play our song and I'll ask you to dance. I don't care what other people say. You can dance with me or you can go your own way. Go your own way. For sure. Sure. Yeah. 